What is up everybody? Zachard is back in here with my round two with Detroit Become Human. We're rejoining Marcus here. I'm so excited to get back into this. Even if I am going to be making decisions that I definitely did not make the first time. It's scary. I don't want to hurt my characters. I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to cause rage and fire, but that's exactly what's going to happen. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, look at the little birdie. Hey, buddy. Oh, is that an android bird, too? Oh, of course it is. <laughs> Interesting. Definitely didn't do that the first time. That's what I love about this. This is why round two is a series for me. So I can find stuff that I otherwise completely ignored or was oblivious to the first time through. Automatic doors. Wake Carl upstairs? No. I'm not gonna wake Carl upstairs. Not yet. We gotta take him breakfast. With a smiley face. Breakfast is ready for Carl. So I love the dynamic between Marcus and Carl. Did I call him Carl? Yeah, it is Carl. It's not Kyle, it's Carl. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like the tiger skin rug over there. Let's see, what do we got here? I'm having trouble reading this. It's alright. I don't want to play the piano right now. Alright, let's go wait, Carl. I want a TV like that. That's so cool. When is that going to be a thing? Can we make that already? Let's go. Holographic television. Not a huge fan of the blue ceiling. That seems like an impractical color for a ceiling, even if you are an artist. Come on. Neat. Jealous of the library. Look at it's color coded too. Here's Carl. Carl's room. Hey, buddy. He's not, he's not in there. Or he's, no, I can hear me snoring. Never mind. It's like, Carl, where'd you go? Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hmm. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Agreed, they Carl. Think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. We're gonna, we're gonna push back, okay. Marcus. We are gonna push back. Shower and Carl. Not a neat artwork. Okay, no thank you to that. I want Marcus to carry me around. Their relationship is such a wonderful thing, especially when you're given the context of Carl's relationship with his flesh and blood son. Marcus is his surrogate son. 
He loves him. He loves him like his own flesh and Anything blood. special on the agenda today? Rioting. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. That's a little excessive, mm. don't you think? I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. <laughs> He's practically his Any publicist. News from Leo? Oh, your douchebag son. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. Hmm? No. No, don't bother. Your son's a tool, Carl. But he already knows that. I'm He's well aware. Well, good thing Mark I've already got the food ready. ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Mark. He sounds so sweet. Television. Who cooked that if Marcus wasn't home? That was a classy pour, wasn't it? The animations are so damn clean. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? I'm sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. What should I do? Play the piano. That is a nifty ass chessboard. Can I play myself? I'm pretty sure last time I played the piano, so we're gonna play chess with myself. <clears throat> Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Yay, you Speed weren't done with your breakfast. Oh god. Speed chess it is. I'm not good at chess. What? I didn't even what? I want to win. I'm an android. I'm going to beat him. Got speed chess? Are you kidding me? That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Hey, Carl. Just well, I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I mm -hmm. felt I. The relationship is so choices. damn cute. True. We humans are complicated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, <laughs> Carl. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. <laughs> You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. <gasps> He's talking to the player. Who you are and want to become a revolutionary. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Ah. <sighs> Why is this Let's game so fucking good? So that's the dialogue choice I get when I play chess. Interesting. I like it. What is there to dislike about this game? Is this game actually perfect? Is Do we have a perfect game on our hands? Probably, I mean, you know, no game is exactly perfect. But the experience of playing a game can be perfect. So by extension, yeah, you can, it's up for debate. It's up for debate. I'm not a huge proponent of rating games or movies or. Let's see where we left off. Got it, Carl. Or any terms of uh, or um, sort of mediums of entertainment on a one through ten scale, a numerical scale. But, but, I would give this a ten out of ten. I absolutely would. And I joke sometimes to myself. And to my friends who probably don't think it's that funny, but sometimes I'll say, you know, game, it's a 12 out of 10. I mean, who doesn't say that? I'm not saying it's an original joke. Okay. Point being is, is this game a 12 out of 10? Does it go beyond a silly numerical scale that different publications and websites and such rates their, rate their games on? And I'm, I'm going to find that out in this playthrough, I think. I think we're going to have an answer to that question for me. Because, again, playing it the first time with Brittany was an absolutely exemplary experience. And if my expectations going in, we'll say reasonably maybe like a seven and a half. Okay, I mean, that's, that's fair. It's above average. It's enjoyable. 
and then what I got was that that easy 10 an easy smooth cool 10 so do we have something on our hands that goes far beyond that maybe I mean I I'm not uh, I haven't sat down and done any sort of top 50 or top 20 games of all time for me and I mean I've been playing games for 20 plus years so so that kind of list would be difficult for me and right now I don't know where I'd put this I'm sure it yeah, would oh man I picked like I should have picked don't like because I'm being an asshole this time something I can't I'm gonna end up tricking define. myself into doing the exact same good things I did last time I just know it I guess I like it you do like it. The Marcus. truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Oh, Carl, come on, man. I mean, if you every day, we're all Enough getting closer me. to the end. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> He's looking at him. He's skeptical. Find a paint, find a subject to paint. What did I do last time? What did I do paint Carl's painting? I'm pretty sure I picked the statue. Let's do the desk. I don't know if this has any bearing on the story or anything of that nature, but it is a cute little nice side objective. Damn! He did that in like eight seconds! Painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Break through go your program. On, go, try it. Grab that canvas. I wish I could paint. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And visualize. I wish I could paint Trust very me. much, but I can't. I am not a visual artist in any Try sense. Try imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. I don't know what I picked last time. Androids. Uh, sadness. Oh, that music score. I feel like I'm floating. Heart's beating really fast. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to punch you right in the face. We're gonna do it. We're gonna punch him. I'm pretty sure that's an option, right? Right? Hey dad, hey dad what's up? Can I have money for drugs, man? I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I, I thought, thought I'd stop by. by. You know, I, I need some drugs, while, man. Right? You all right? I'm tweaking pretty hard, man. You don't look so good. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you know, just uh, hey, come listen, in. Uh, Major withdrawal, man. Cash, Dad. Drugs, man. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, Drugs. It just goes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Look at yeah, the pain. You're again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What don't lie to him, it's Leo. Cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own. I'm son, gonna punch right? him. Give me the option. Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? Brains. Smarter. Yes. More obedient. Not like me, right? Head you know what? This thing is not your son. Yeah, it kind of. He, he, he is That's your enough. son, really. He is his son. Enough. Don't you hurt Marcus, man. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. I. Do not remember the backstory between their relationship. I want to say it's a little grayer than this scene paints it to be, and I don't I don't remember what you find out, how he treated him when he was young. I I'm thinking it has something to do with his art career. He spent more time focusing on that than his son. Oh, what did I miss? There's one little thing in there that I did not get. Okay, so I unlock. Yeah, see, last time I totally did play the piano. It looks like the option I didn't pick between the chest and the piano leads to something in the middle there that I do not have unlocked. Funny, funny thing I have to mention here is I've never been uh, much of a completionist, and I think if you have watched any of my previous videos, that that's very apparent. I'm not a completionist. I I play till I'm satisfied with what I've done. Um, point being. I feel a little bit differently with this game. I actually do have um, some motivation. I'd like to see every little thing. And I think, again, that speaks to the strength of this game, the story it tells, and the characters that are involved in that story. And here we are, back to my other boy, Connor. Look at him. Look at that face. Oh, oh I'm good. Is, it, is it Frank? Frank's his name, right? There he is. There he is. There's Mr. Franker. What's your problem, you butt? That's not Lieutenant Anderson. Kim Johan. Born 1999. Unem currently unemployed. Uh oh. Domestic abuse. That's not Lieutenant Anderson. Currently unemployed accountant. Criminal record narcotic supplier. Unemployed, criminal record none. Well good for Chris Roberts. Hey, fine, okay. No no worries, no worries. Okay, can I scan the Frank here? I know this is him. He's right here. This is him. This is the man. Hey, it's Hank, not Frank. <laughs> it's Hank. Damn it. There it is. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. He's been to four what other bars. Want? A lot of bars in this you immediate were area. A case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. Yep. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Mm. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? In my <laughs> mechanical bum. No. Where? Do androids have asses? Should I threaten him? I'm gonna do it. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. I'm gonna make Hank hate me. <laughs> Look at Bart. Oh God. Spills drink. I think we can go now. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you Oh out. God, I hate There's this. I hate doing this. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. I hate doing this. I do. I hate it. I hate it so much. They can even program assholes these days. Yep, my asshole is programmed. <laughs> Gotta go. Uh, Duty calls. I'm gonna make you hate me, Hank. For the record, they were best 
fucking friends by the end of my original playthrough. They were inseparable. I did everything beautifully. The relationship blossomed. Character development everywhere. It was great. <laughs> Look at him stewing. What I, I know what I'm gonna have to do. When I'm done with this, you wait here. I'm gonna have to start over. On my own to oh, oh, uh, firm. No way. Firm. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna have to start over Listen, and do everything right really again, or I'm not gonna be able to sleep for months. Make it to the rest of the night in one piece. Hmm. Selecting priority. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. No. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Is that that guy an android? What are you doing over there then? You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. This we were guy. starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found <laughs> So yourself an android, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by. So he on. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Get away from that pole, Connor. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. Oh, Carlos. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Drugs. Red ice. Makes me think of, uh, what was it, Red Death in a Scanner Darkly? Can't remember. It was Red something. Everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Hey, get in there. No uh, just three here. weeks of rotting. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The There's a lot of games that use this investigative mechanic. I'd like, I, I haven't done the research to see where that originated from, so if you know, please let me know in the comments. But of all the games that I've played with similar mechanics, I think this one does it in the most compelling way. From a visual standpoint and just a gameplay story integration standpoint. Demon was attacked, emotional shock. Did I get everything in that one? I hope so. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Android sex. Officially better. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> and why is that a female only problem? I mean, they what, they don't have big sexy male androids to have sex with? Come on. This is a problem for everybody. When android sex takes over, we're all going to be in an interesting way, aren't we? Come get your Dolph Lundgren sex android. Does anybody know who L Dolph Lundgren is anymore? Do I even know who Dolph Lundgren is? I don't know. No, 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 Connor, not that. I know you're excited, but let's put that down, okay? There's so much more evidence to find. Anything outside? Nah, that door's not opening. Oh. Oh, Connor, hey, what are you doing, bud? Whoa, hey. Come visit us on Woodward Avenue. I've been there. Not that Android sex bar, but you know, I've, I've been to Woodward Avenue. E. Was that a wrapped up cheeseburger in there? Probably, it probably wasn't, but that's what it looked like at first glance. Saving that cheeseburger for later. Dried blood. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Mm.
Android involvement. Oh, it's, it's, I'm kind of surprised uh, they didn't code Android, Androids with fingerprints. Ooh, what's that? Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? Oh, I must have already examined it. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. I am alive. Font, Cyberlife Sands. <laughs> Oh, you big, big ol' ugly man. 28 knife runes. Oh, that is aggressive! Red ice. Acetone, lithium, therium, two, toluin? Hydrochloric acid? Powerful stuff, that. Whoa, hey. Carlos Ortiz, five foot six, almost three pounds. Goodness gracious, sir. Theft and aggravated assault. Assault. Victim fell here. He was stabbed over there. Whoop. I need a better. There we go. It came from the kitchen. And then he just went stab happy. He was stabbed. 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. I love the music, guys. Come on. Why is it so good? What other evidence is there to find? I want to get the other two pieces, don't I? Don't I not? Do I not? Ah, here's one. Dried blood, yes. Where's the last piece? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, now I can go outside, can I? I am allowed to go outside now? Thank you. That door could use a refinishing, I tell you. What? Get some spackle in there, some caulk. Oh. Oh. Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This time Perhaps. the soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Frank's like, fine. He's still in the house. He's still in the house. The deviant is here. The deviant remains in the house, right? Does my memory serve me correctly? Oh, hey. Religious offering? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Mm. Hank! Where's my Hank at? Where is my Hank at? That's not him. There's my boy. That was my Hank, huh? Okay, Connor, let's get. Come on, Connor, come on, come on, buddy, let's get in there. Come on, there we Lieutenant, go. Yeah. I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. You can hear his breathing. Ah, oh, this is so lifelike. The android stabbed the victim. No. The android threw the chair. He didn't stab him here yet. No, that can't be 
right? It doesn't fit the end. Oh, no, my bad. Yes, he did start the stabbing. Connor, you idiot. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? More stabbing. The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Oh. Oh. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. Hi, I the indeed. The android so. murdered the victim with the knife. With the knife. Yeah, you don't say. Okay. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat. It's and still here. Ethereum. It's in here. Lost some what? Ethereum. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, the rest of you guys can just go home. I've got this. No more CSI necessary. There's my boy, there it is. Oh yeah. Come on, it's yellow. He was a little perturbed there. Oh, he's up there, all right, Connor. Find something to climb. Ooh. Just quit twirling, buddy. We need to find a climber. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm taking it. I'm gonna put it in my Android apartment. Check uh, something. <laughs> Yeah, you go ahead and check something. I'll be over here. Things are getting suspenseful. Quit peeking and just get in there. I love this shot right here. Screenshot. Ooh. That's not the android, it's a mannequin. Mm. There he is. Found him. Just skittering around in the attic, wounded, cornered. I see you. I caught that little red glow. I'm sorry for what the game might make I was me. Just defending myself. I agree. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. I'm doing a bad run. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. I didn't get an option there. No choice. It's 
So it looks like there's an option to just completely not find that deviant. Completely miss him. Last time I bought him another drink. Look at that. I wonder what I could have missed. Wake up! Wake up, Todd! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Spaghetti! I actually had some spaghetti last night. Kitchen. I did what I could. Imagine that, not a lot in the kitchen. In this very sad living quarters. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. I get an android, okay. What do I do? You get an android. Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they never tired. Sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? Oh no. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. <laughs> Here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. You're such an ass. I want to move. You took off, not a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I can't wait to shoot him. It wasn't good enough for her. Little fucking brat. Red smoke. Very pretty. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move. Oh, I love these. I love these. I love these. Break through. Break the chains. Break the chains. Protect Alice. Uh. Okay, I am going to try to reason with Todd only because I didn't do that last time, and that seems like it might. You should leave her alone, Todd. She. Oh, bad idea.
Daddy's very mad. Get up. Get up, Kara. Where's that gun? Give me the gun, give me the gun. Okay, I couldn't remember which one was the... No! Get the door! Kara! Now's not the time to forget how to use doors. That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna shoot your ass. On the gun and get the fuck out of here. Absolutely not, That's sir. Nope. 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 You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? Shoot ya. You're gonna shoot me. I'm gonna shoot ya. Oh, so hard. That was bad move. Bad move, Carl. have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Dodged. 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 Oh, I'm not good at those. I'm so not good at those. Come here, bitch. I'm so bad at those. I don't understand how to do those. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I'm screwing up so hard. Oh, God. No. Oh! Oh god, how is his hand not torn to shreds? I almost hit the wrong button. No, I shoot you! Get the gun, get the gun, car. Oh, got him. Got him, coach. Intense. Took some damage there. He dealt some damage. I didn't protect myself. Listen to that music. Yeah, he's not getting him, Car. He's done. Down for the count. fugitives now and we will be behaving like fugitives went from red to yellow Look at this. This is one that I'm missing a whole bunch. And this is... This didn't deviate much from my original playthrough. I almost want to redo that, but I'm just going to keep pressing along. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself... What the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. They just want to schmooze. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. You're the boss. Scotch, neat as usual. 
Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. Mm -hmm. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's like, I can't serve it if I'm holding on to him. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay. All right, fine. Come on, come on, Marcus, Gra grab him. Come on, let's get it. Marcus, come on, not, not, not now. Let's not fool around. Swear, yeah, swerve the old man around. Give him some whiplash. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. I'm All gonna you get violent. Tell me to go away. Because you bad? suck. Not good enough for you? Not perfect. Like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Look. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone. Don't you push Carl. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. Let me hit him. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it. This is not fair. Stop it. You're scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. I am going to hit this guy so hard. Punch it. Break through. Break through. Break through the barrier. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hit him. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. The pain no, in his voice. You. Just be me and my dad. Oh. oh. God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Conjure. Go. I have nowhere to go. Carl, you're all I have. Get out! Now! You gotta go, Marcus. Go. It's too late. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Uh, it's not fair. I had to break through. I can check it without Carl? That's interesting. Okay. This is all the time I have today for this episode. I realized that Kara segment and this Marcus segment actually went pretty consistent with how I reacted the first time. As pushing Marcus around, I had to retaliate. It stays consistent with the chaotic run that I'm going for here. I'm I'm over the moon right now to be playing this game again. I'm I said it last time, but I'm glad that it's coming to Steam so more people are going to be able to experience it. I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. This is the part of the video where I might tell you who to like and who to subscribe to, but I'm not in the business of telling people what to do. So
this is the part of the video where I might tell you who to like and who to subscribe to, but I'm not in the business of telling people what to do. However, if you are feeling oh so charitable and found your time valuable with me today, please do throw me a like and a subscription. It really helps me out and tells YouTube that I don't totally suck. Thanks again. We'll see you next time and have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.